There's many things about this story and this role that, that were very dear to me and sort of close, close to me um, when I embarked on the journey of creating this character. But one of the most glaring sort of obstacles was the fact that I'm not, in fact, from India. I haven't lived there extensively. I, um, my, my father's Indian, but my mother's Italian, and I grew up in London. So um, I knew that there was a certain amount of work that I would need to do in order to be able to uh, portray this sort of iconic Bombay boy, um, Salim. And so, yeah, I, I went to India first for about a month um, in the late summer of 2009. We ended up, we shot uh, in 2010 from February through May, pretty much. Um, on a crazy shoot uh, with 65 unit shifts in 70 days, it was a it was a real real roller coaster. But um, I, I spent a month in India um, first, studying Hindi, traveling around Bombay, and sort of really trying to, you know, in a way, develop a storehouse of memories or of like experiences because I had never been on my own terms sort of in India. I'd been there with parents and for family occasions, stuff like that. So yeah, so um, I was there for a month and then went back about two, three months before uh, we started shooting and traveled quite a bit and spent a lot of time uh, studying Hindi and walking around and watching movies and reading everything about the history, which was another thing that I was sort of vaguely, you know, I was familiar with loosely, but um, Unsurprisingly, growing up in in England, they don't teach you all that much about Indian history. Um, so uh, I, I that was a big sort of crash course as well, um, academically in a way. And I, I read uh, you know lots of books, um, both about partition and you know leading up to partition, but also and sometimes even more interestingly about India in in the last sort of sixty years since independence. Um, so so yeah, it was a large uh, a large research mission, really, to try and get inside the head of this character. Initially, uh, I, I was familiar with the novel. I had read it when I was quite young, um, but it was, uh, it wasn't, I hadn't read it sort of right before meeting with Deepa, and certainly when we first met, it was more of a social um, a, a social meeting. I was in Toronto working on another film, and we I had recently done a play with someone she had worked with, and so we just sort of met, as you do, and went out for lunch. Um, but then once it became clear to me that she was considering me for this part, I, I um, dove back into the book and sort of coincidentally, I started reading it on, rereading it on like a Friday and I got a call Friday afternoon saying that I'd be meeting with Salman on Monday. So I was like, oh my God, 600 pages in one weekend. <laughs> um, but I like burned through the whole thing again. Um, and, uh, and so yeah, I spoke with Salman then and at that point they were really it was you know over a year and a half before we started shooting, so they were still working on the script. They even actually had, I think they had just decided not to make it two films, but the one of the original sort of thoughts was to have it be a two-part um, movie. And so then uh, we spoke, we spoke at length about sort of our own relationship to Bombay and uh, you know our, our different families and the process of that adaptation, um, and that was pretty much the only time we spoke. Uh, we emailed a little bit, but then pretty soon afterwards, um, it became sort of clear that my sort of channel of discussion was deeper. And I spoke to her a lot, and she was in touch with Salman, but he wasn't like, you know, dealing day to day with the actors at all and wasn't on set. Um, and so then I would go back to the book, I mean, constantly. I, I had it, you know, I have this like threadbare copy that I would practically sleep on, you know, sleep with it un under my pillow. I have always, always attached to it, yeah. They, they've really, you know, Deepa and Salman and, um, you know, Colin, who's the editor, have really managed to um, sort of keep the, in a way, the more historical moments feel, I, I sometimes feel like the more historical moments feel a little bit more immediate and personal. Um, for example, I think about that shot of General Zulfikar right before he surrenders, wiping his shoe, you know, in a small room. And some of the emotional, interpersonal moments are treated in a more epic way. You know, you've got the, you know, lovers reuniting in the rain, which is like an old sort of, Deepa's homage to like an old Bollywood trope, which is the lover sort of falling in love and crying and kissing in the rain. Um, so I think that, yeah, you know, I mean, uh, one, we, we screened this film at Telluride uh, almost a year ago, a little under, but, um, and 
you know, it's hilarious. It's like one street, so you can't help but hear what everybody's saying about all the movies as you're like walking around. And I heard somebody say that it was like the Indian Forest Gump. Um, so I think that, that that is a film that also sort of ties together certain aspects of a country's history and also the history of a, of a character.